Hello guys and welcome to session 3 of the Jenkins tutorial. Today we will see how do you configure your job so that it runs periodically on some schedule basis. So it may be running, you want to build a job on say every hour or maybe every 3 hours or maybe every 6 hours or maybe even a midnight build. So you can do that by configuring your job in Jenkins. So we'll see how to do that. For that, we'll go into the job. So in your dashboard, you can see, I'll click on the first job, which was the first freestyle simple job that we created in last sessions. In that, you can see that the last two builds have succeeded. So we'll configure the job by clicking on configure. And we'll go down to the section called build triggers. So in the build triggers section, you can see we have three options. What we want to do is we want to trigger the build periodically. So I'll click on, I'll check the build periodically. So here you need to specify the schedule, how you want to trigger the build in a given format for which will take help of this question mark over here. So I'll click on the question mark which will pop up a menu or, or you can say a dialogue that will tell you how exactly can you uh, type in the schedule so that it triggers accordingly. So you can see that this field follows the syntax of cron tab. So we'll do something similar. The way we used to configure uh, the schedule in a cron tab job. So similar we will do it over here. Uh, you can go through this document and find out uh, different ways of configuring. We will go to the example over here. So we want to trigger the build every 15 minutes. So how do you do that? You have to specify. The first option is for the minute. The next is for hour. Then the date of month sorry, the day of month, the month and the day of the week. So star specifies that all the valid values. So it means, so if I, for example, over here, this means that run it every 15 minutes and the next thing is star, 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 which means for all valid values, which means that run it every hour for every day of the month and for every month of the year and for every day of the week. So you can change this that uh, maybe I don't want to run it for every day of the week. I might be needing to run it only for say the weekdays. So I can specify that. So if I specify, uh, you can specify the values from 0 to 7. So I can say 5. So it will run for the first 5 days. Accordingly, I can state the months in which I want to run, which can be 1 to 12 and the day of the month. So example, uh, maybe you want to run uh, only on the first 10 days. So I can specify the day of the month over here, or maybe I want to run it only on uh, say the 15th of every month. So I can specify the date as 15th over here. So the day of the month will be 15 and which are you want to execute the build so that can also be specified and within that R, you can tell it on which minute you want to execute it so what i'll do is we for now we'll keep it simple so we'll say that uh, trigger the build on every 15 minutes so we'll copy this i'll copy this and i'll So I'll click on the question mark again so that the menu goes away. So here I will paste that. So this is my schedule, but this is going to take too long for the tutorial purpose. What I'll do is I'll keep it trigger every two minutes so that we can actually see it quickly as and when the build is triggered. So for, I'll let it be right now as this and I'll apply and I'll save it. Ok, 
okay so now what we'll do is uh, we'll wait for two minutes and see if the trigger is you know the build is triggered automatically after two minutes so let's wait for two minutes now So as you can see that the build number 9 was triggered automatically and it has succeeded. So we'll go into the console output and see, okay, so it verifies that yes, the build was successful and it got triggered automatically. So you see that the last build was triggered 26 seconds ago. And what we'll do now is we'll wait for another two minutes so that we see another build getting triggered within two minutes. So let's wait for that. You guys don't need to wait for two minutes. I'll just pause the video over here so that I skip the time. So what I've done over here is I've clicked on the enable auto refresh so that the Jenkins uh, page gets refreshed by itself and we come to know whether a build is triggered or not so we'll wait over here we'll keep a eye we'll keep an eye on the build history to see whether the build has been triggered as you can see that build number 10 was triggered and it completed successfully showing the blue ball so blue ball signifies success so that was also done so the build was triggered without me clicking on the build now that was actually triggered by Jenkins based on the schedule we specified. So you can go ahead and change the schedule according to your needs and get going with Jenkins. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next session where we'll explore more about Jenkins.